The Mariners season is back in action in Seattle. Have you been to T-Mobile Park? Well, if you haven't, here's your chance to learn a little bit about it right now. Hi there, I'm Carrie Ray Davis with Carrie Sells the City and Keller Williams. I'm a real estate broker specializing in the Puget Sound region of Washington State. Please be sure to check my channel every Wednesday because I'm here to give you different tips about the real estate market as well as the beautiful Northwest. With the Mariners season upon us in Seattle, going to a game at T-Mobile Park is a fantastic way to spend your time in the city. Located just at the south end of downtown in the Soto District, you've got sweeping views of downtown as well as the Puget Sound. With the retractable roof, this makes it a perfect summertime spot for either a date or the family. With this park having amazing views from almost every seat in the stadium, this stadium has a reputation of an unequaled experience compared to other stadiums in the Major League. The Mariners' state-of-the-art ballpark opened on July 15, 1999 after five years of planning and construction and had a crowd of 47,000 attendees at its inaugural game against the San Diego Padres. Formerly known as Safeco Field, on January 1, 2019, the ballpark officially became known as T-Mobile Park. T-Mobile Park has four major entrances on each corner of the ballpark. Another entrance that you can access is through the Mariners Team Store on 1st Avenue South. And also at the Penn Entry, which is near the bullpen behind left field. The stadium has five main levels including the field. All of them accessible via stairs, escalator, or elevator. You have private and public parking spaces all around the field, so you want to make sure you get there early enough to get a good spot. One of the coolest features about T-Mobile Park is the retractable roof. Games happen rain or shine, but if it's sunny and nice out, you're going to have the roof open and be in an open air facility outside in the outdoors. If it happens to be a day where it might be a little rainy, they will close the roof. And it's not a totally enclosed stadium because it does have open edges, but at least you're covered and you won't be in the immediate wind and rain. Food and beverage at T-Mobile Park is abundant. There's tons of really great restaurants and bars galore. If you need to get a carafe of wine or bubbly to take back to your seat, you're welcome to do so. Make sure you take some time to get out of your seat and explore the park to see what other kind of bites you can enjoy all while still being able to see the game from where you're standing. When games aren't in action, T-Mobile Park offers fun and flexible event space for parties, graduations, weddings, Christmas events, and concerts. They have space that can accommodate all different groups of sizes. So if you think about having a party there, you're going to want to contact the events team on site. Ballpark tours are going to be available again on June 21st, 2021. These tours are for groups of one to six and will walk you through the different parts of the ballpark. You won't get to see the press boxes or the owner suites, but you will get a chance to see other parts of the facility and learn more about T-Mobile Park. With the beautiful weather in Seattle, a Mariners game at T-Mobile Park is a great way to spend the day or the afternoon. It's family friendly, it's fun for dates, there's tons of things to do and see while you're watching the game. And again, you can see the game being played from almost every vantage point of the stadium. It's a great time. I highly recommend it. Have you ever seen a game at T-Mobile Park? If you have, comment below and let me know what you thought. If you have questions on anything I've brought up today, please feel free to let me know. Thank you for stopping by and make sure you check back with me next week. Music